And then you got freaking Review Tech USA, this, this fat potato head looking sack of crap who just sits there in his stupid little room with his dumb little purple LED lights going on, flinging all over the place. In the background, he's got a freaking monitor with freaking horses. Like, what? I don't understand your infatuation and excitement about horses and freaking roosters. What is it about that combination that you just can't get over? You're sitting there like a fat loser, rubbing a rubber chicken against your goddamn beard. That's how disgusting you are. These are the type of people that your audience are that are interested in seeing this crap. What is it about a fat loser with man boobs sitting there with his freaking shirt off like a shirtless prick asking you to send him money so he can send his shirt off and then he does stupid stuff with a freaking rooster. If you want to see something insane like that, go ahead. Gee, I wonder why you have get can't get fucking views. You sound like a Cornish game hen getting strangled. Downtown to your city and find some homeless bum in a goddamn blue tent there doing the exact same thing for free. And it's going to be even worse and more entertaining than this sack of crap. This guy's the same fat loser that sat there in his room while his freaking mom was like, hey, a review tech, are you going to freaking take care of your kid? She's crying her eyes out in her room unattended, and you're sitting here freaking cranking it to people, telling you to take your shirt off for money. Are you going to do anything? What's 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 review tech do? He's like, oh, you know, I can't do that right now. I'm streaming right now to a bunch of cucked incels that freaking pay me money and watch me. These bunch of loser kids, teenagers, and young adults, for some reason, I find him entertaining when he's not. He's not, he's a friggin' 10,000 pound tub of lard with a dumb little graying beard and a bald headed prick. That's what he is. There's nothing cool about being Review Tech USA. There's nothing cool about acting like Review Tech USA. There's nothing cool about being friends with Review Tech USA. You see him at a goddamn convention. This keeps a roof over their heads and you're putting out lies and half truths and you didn't know the whole story to benefit yourself and to for your butt frank buddy. And, and he's sitting there with a small frame and his, and his like enormous fat gut girth that he's got going around. No one wants to hang around you. You have dirty clothes on. You got freaking sweat stains and mustard stains and ketchup stains and Cheeto stains on your stupid little shirts that you wear that are probably like 7XL to freaking hold your fat gut in it because you're that's how embarrassed you are. That's why you sit there on your stream and the freaking table's cutting off the bottom of your gut because that freaking disgusting belly full of vile and vomit is hanging over the goddamn table. You even admitted on your stupid little videos that you watch male, um, you watch ASMR videos. A Who the hell watches ASMR videos and gets off to it? Review Tech does, and he specifically likes watching male ASMR and cranks to it 24-7, 365, because since that piece of trash has stage 20,000 diabetes, because he wears, because he wears. Where'd you go? Where are you, buddy? Come on, come on the show. Have a talk where I'm actually in your fucking face. Come on, you fucking hack. He's 30,000 pounds. Because of that, he can't get a hard on if his life depended on it. There's not one Viagra pill out there on the market right now. One blue pill that's going to help this guy's friggin' erectile dysfunction. He's probably going to have to go to the friggin' jungles of friggin' uh, South America to find the wandering spider to bite him and give him a friggin' raging hard on. That piece of trash review tech has a cutout. He has an actual life-size cutout of Nicolas Cage in his room. Who the hell has a cutout of another man in their goddamn room? That's pathetic, Review Tech USA. I don't know what you do to that cutout all the time and bend him over the same way you bend over your stupid little rubber chicken every time in a room at nighttime. You like to flex your man boobs on friggin' live streams, which is disgusting. The most horrible kind of view you can ever find. And he has pictures of himself exposing his nipple to the audience. Why would you do that? Do you have any self-respect whatsoever? You know what his excuse is going to be? He's got more views on that video than he's gotten in like the past eight fucking years when he talks about me. And that's not me being egotistical. Go look. Review tech excuse to be, oh, it's all for clicks. It's all for drama. You know, it's all just a joke. Well, okay, then keep exposing your fat lard body to other disgusting people that actually want to watch it because I think it's filthy. I think you're scum of the earth, Review Tech USA. That's why you like to flag troll channels and you call yourself this, ooh, one man news network, right? Of course you're one man news network because if you actually try to walk into a news network, your fat girth is going to cover up the whole room that you're the only one, one man going to be standing in there with a stupid and Mike friggin deep throat into your fat gullet you stupid fat prick you like to belch and fart 
And apparently there's like a video out there cleaning your own earwax on video and on stream. You're clearly soiling yourself and farting as you're friggin' playing, stu uh, you're doing your stupid little videos there and you're streaming on your dumb little friggin' room. Get your friggin' fat lard up and head to the goddamn washroom where you can friggin' release your friggin' rocket deuce in that toilet. He, Jay, Jay's my friend. And I actually made a check for once. Bowl. But guess what? You weigh so much that every time you try to sit on a toilet bowl, you're friggin' breaking the goddamn porcelain bowl. And so because of that, we need a specialized diaper to put on your friggin' fat load behind so you can sit there and friggin' launch rocket deuces in it 24-7 and have your mommy come over and clean up your stupid diaper and change your stupid diaper, you stupid piece of trash. You rant on anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers. No, no, no. I'm going to really listen to some fat loser that weighs 10,000 pounds telling me about health advice. You're ranting there about anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers. You don't know anything about anything, dummy. I want to breathe oxygen all the time. I'm not going to listen to you to cover my goddamn face and mask just because you like to cover it because you're a ugly face and that's what you got your hot breath and smelly breath going on. Yeah, keep keep friggin' boosting yourself and getting those boosting shots, friggin' moron. Yeah, yeah, you have your friggin' lives, your life left on Earth is gonna slowly start decreasing the more and more friggin' booster shots you do. You're a friggin' moron. You're a friggin' libtard cock. You talentless hack. Come on. You can't do anything else. You have the screen presence of a fucking half dead snail. Come on here and talk. That sits there spewing garbage, and I heard people talking about my political views. Let me tell you what my political views are, so you all know right now, set front center, what my views are. My views are in the middle. Okay, well, I'll give you an example. First of all, I'm up for uh, gun rights. Yeah, you definitely, you definitely have to defend yourself with freedom of gun rights. Second of all, I'm also pro-choice. A woman should be able to choose whether she has an abortion or not. And thirdly, I want to save the environment as much as possible and save the trees and animals. So actually, I'm right in the middle i'm not leaning toward one side i'm not leaning toward that side i'm in the middle because that's the most common sense friggin option to be but guess what we're not offered the most common sense option we're offered extreme right extreme left and extreme green or whatever it is to keep us continuous fighting that's my political views i hope you all understand now instead this fat friggin libtard cock is sitting there telling you to get your shots and wear your friggin mask because he's a fat loser with a big fat gut and he needs a goddamn oxygen tank to friggin uh, cater to a stupid oxygen you don't you're another one this puts food in my kids mouths too don't but put the fat aside needs every single goddamn day 24 7 he's the same fat loser that heads on over to friggin mcdonald's and starts ordering every single hash brown double cheeseburger dressed like a mac he thinks melanie is dressed like a mac whatever the hell it is this guy's going to every single fast food option and fast food friggin restaurant to stuff his fat face with more chili cheese burritos fry supremes with extra sour cream he goes to subway and orders a friggin blt with extra mayo that's what review tech usa is is on a friggin' daily goddamn basis. The same piece of trash that came on YouTube and friggin' told people that he's crying about people using Adblock. And then uh, we find out later on that Review Tech USA is also using Adblock so that he can block the ads for other content re re reviewers. And this piece of trash just wants every single greedy little penny under his fat flaps hidden there for a cachet, just like if he needs it to friggin' tip the goddamn waitress at some stupid restaurant. He is making me sick. He has his father help him make a friggin' bill I knew you were stupid. You, you believe that Trump actually got the election stolen from him, you smooth brain ass. Quack, quack. P build a PC. This guy calls himself Review Tech USA and he has to call his father to help him come over and build a friggin' gaming PC. It's the same sack of crap Review Tech USA that went on to the friggin' LOL Cow Live pa LOL Cow Live podcast and he didn't even know how to friggin' work Discord to get into the goddamn friggin' room and he called himself Review Tech USA sitting there with a bunch of losers like friggin' Keemstar and friggin' Wings of Redemption, some fat boob man 
and boobed loser that the only thing Wings of Redemption is redeeming is a full friggin' uh, coupon redeeming at goddamn friggin' McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, you friggin' name it. And that's who Review Tech USA, some guy that loves cucumbers and likes to stick it up himself and friggin' uh, uh, talks about horses and dreams about sleeping with horses with a cutout of Nicolas Cage. And he sells his broken tech on eBay and gives bad reviews. He clearly has no job. He's talking about friggin' firing JKB and not giving him money because he needs it for himself to stuff his fat face with more fast food. Review Tech, you're a fat lard. You're a big friggin' fat cuck. He talks about how I said I wasn't able to able to afford rent uh yeah that's what happens when you don't get paid properly you randomly can't just pay for rent but you guys came through and that's the important part on my side of things that 